Hello and welcome back to another one of these intriguing FIFA 17 experiments. Now the last experiment, it was a little bit controversial. I went ahead and I took the stance of the female national team of the United States and put them into FIFA. And, you know, you know, if you haven't checked out, go ahead and click over here. I'll, I'll wait one, two, three. Okay, spoilers. They actually won the league. It was tremendous. So that got me to thinking, well, you already seen the title. You already clicked on this video. What would happen if we took the best women's team in the world and put them up against the best men's team in the world and had them fight them out in the same league? So the squad is mostly comprised primarily of the U.S. Women's National Team that we saw in the last experiment, but a few additions and a few legendary additions right here. Marta, the Brazilian goddess herself, is going to be going ahead and joining up in this squad. Many have said that she is good enough to play with the men. Well, we're going to go ahead and test that today. Then up front, we have the Norway Wonderkin. I think she's only like 20 years of age or super young, but she's already one of the best female strikers in the world. Hegerberg? I don't know how to properly pronounce things, so I'm just going to call the Norway Iceberg over there. And then you're going to get a couple of upgrades here with, uh, you know, there's a French CDM. I'm assuming it's pronounced Henri. And then a French center back named Renard. We have a couple other international superstars coming in with Sinclair from Canada. And I think Marozan is from Germany. But can the spicy team and the devilishly good looks of Alex Morgan go ahead and conquer the best male team? Well, check this out. I present to you the world's best starting 11. Well, world's best starting like 30 to be honest. As you can see out on the left wing you got Ronaldo, up front you got Suarez, on the right side you have Lionel Messi, Ozil at the camp, Modric and Pogba in the midfield, okay, Ramos, okay. Uh, Neuer, Boateng, okay. Carvajal is in at the right back position. You might be like, where's Philip Lom? Where's Philip Lom? He's been taken out of the game at this time um, in FIFA 17. So he's retired. He's no longer in there. So a little bit of a downgrade at the fullback position. And then you got Marcelo out on the left. And then the bench is just an embarrassment of Riches, David De Gea, you know, Tagia Silva, Casemiro, Neymar, Bale, Cruz, Lewandowski, Benzema, Chiellini, Higuain. Like it goes on and on. Just check out all these mother truckers in here there are zero weak links on this team zero and in my experience of simming that's kind of what happens sometimes is they'll use the third string guy but the third string guy on this team is also world class and it's the same for the female side so it's gonna be a pretty fair fight so i've gone ahead and i placed both of these squads into the premier league uh you know the female team will be represented by the new england revolution and the best male team will be represented by defending champions league uh, you know, well, champions uh, in Real Madrid. And as you can see right there, they just happen to sit right next to each other. Now, I kind of went into this in the last episode. Um, I'm not gonna even touch the fact that, you know, like, does, uh, you know, like an 80 female speed equate to an 80 male speed? What, what does an overall for a female really equate to compared to a male? I'm not gonna touch any of that. I just went on SoFIFA.com. I looked up the players, I looked up their stats, and I plugged them in, I put in their weight, their height, and their age, and all that stuff, and I plugged it all into FIFA, and it took me a long time, okay, <laughs> to create all these female players. Go ahead, please take your hard direct nipple and smush it into that like button. And I know EA never intended for men and women to go ahead and play against each other in FIFA, but I like breaking the rules, so let's go ahead. And we're gonna sim up to the halfway point January 1st of this year, but, as you guys already know, you've probably seen a whole bunch of these. I have to go ahead and make a prediction. And since this is a versus episode, I gotta choose one side. Am I gonna go with the lovely females or the oh so sexy men? And I mean, I have a penis. So it's pretty obvious where I am going to go on this one. I'm gonna predict that the men are going to win this one, or at least, you know, finish higher. It would be really weird if they finish higher than the women and they don't win the league because they literally have the best team ever maybe. But you guys also know if I get my prediction right, usually something good happens. So in this case, if I get it right, we'll show you uh, a couple of more pictures. You guys seem to really enjoy the pictures of Alex Morgan. I'll show you a couple of more at the end of this episode. If the ladies come out on top, I can think of no better way to honor them than to show you guys pictures of Alex Morgan. I think it's totally fair. It's, it's the purest way to honor them. So there you guys go, and I want you guys to get involved. Do not cheat. Go ahead and put up in the I things right here. Have a vote. Who do you think will turn out on top? But yeah, I have a feeling that this vote might go 95% one way. But alas, let's go ahead. Let's sim it up to the midway point. Take it away, Joey Wheeler. Go time with it. All right, we sit in January of 2017. As you can see right here, I 
a Mr. Feminism, <laughs> and we sit at a 76 rating overall. Uh, let's go ahead, let's take a look at the player stats. Super Oh my god! Holy shit! Marta! You fucking animal! Yo! I remember, I remember when the uh, Women's World Cup was going on, they were saying that she could play with the men. She is not only playing with the men, she is fucking spanking the shit out of us. <laughs> Yo, look at this, 17 goals. I don't know if I've seen a higher total for a single player at the halfway point of a season. I, like, maybe comparable one time with Cristiano Ronaldo, but this is insane. Ronaldo, where is Ronaldo? He's seventh on here with seven. That is fucking, that, that is the badness. That is absolutely bad. Assists though, all right, coming back down to earth. Ronaldo in second place, but the ladies coming in in 10th and 11th place with the sensual Alex Morgan, I mean strong Alex Morgan. And then of course, the Norway Iceberg himself, both of them getting four apiece. And then with clean sheets, this is kind of what won it uh, in the last experiment for the ladies. It was Hope Solo being a fucking animal. And she doing it again, 11 clean sheets, and where's Real Madrid? Neuer coming in in fifth place with a meager six. Jesus. The, I mean, pardon the pun, but the solo performances of the ladies in this have been godlike. And I mean, with those stats, I don't, I don't see how they're not on top. They are. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be heartbreaking if this happened, if the, if the women win, and you know. But I, I have to show you guys. I would have to show you guys more pictures of Alex Morgan. I don't want to do it. Okay, guys, I don't want to show you any more pictures of Alex Morgan. But I, I, I have to do the forfeit, guys. I hope you all understand. And don't leave a dislike button. But it's not over. I mean, honestly, it's just one win. It's very closable. It's 43 to 40. The ladies have a slight lead going in. Goal differential, they're slightly ahead. Goals for actually Real Madrid have scored more besides the Mighty Mighty Marta. Uh, it looks like they're kind of slacking in that piece, but they are better defensively though. But we will see, we will see. All right, let's go ahead. Let's put it up to June 1st and sim it to the end of the season. Will you see at the end of this video more pictures of Alex Morgan or will you at the end of this video see pictures of Alex Morgan? Only time and a wizard can tell. All right, guys, we sit on June 1st of 2017. Let's go ahead and click over and take a look at Mr. Feminism's uh, rating. Goes ahead and finishes it off at 66. Not the highest, but it's not a great indicator, uh, to be honest. Well, there we go. I mean, a uh, lot. She slowed down in the second half of the season. Remember, she scored 17 in the first half. So she does come out on top with 22 goals, but... Considering, you know, how great she was in the first half, it's actually kind of a little bit of a letdown. Juan Mata, though, came out of nowhere with 18. This is a very strange top scores. Stuart Downing of Middlesbrough uh, came up with 15. And we do not see a Real Madrid player until Suarez at 8 with 14. It's respectable. And then Robin, who had 12. But I don't see any New, uh, New England ladies until the Iceberg down in 18th. And then a couple more Real Madrid guys trickling in with Ronaldo. Uh, oh, I missed Ronaldo up there. He had 13. Okay. And then Messi had 9. That's not bad. That's a lot of combined goals for Real Madrid, actually, for the men. As opposed to just only two players on the list uh, for the ladies. So, let's go over to assist. And it is Leroy Sani who finishes it up on top. And then Coutinho. But it is Cristiano Ronaldo who ties for third. Uh, along with Alexi Sanchez. New, okay, there are a couple ladies in here. Abby Wombat coming in with seven assists. Marta coming in with six. What a tremendous season from her. And then the Iceberg coming in with six as well. Only two names in the top 15 for Real Madrid, though, with Ronaldo and Suarez. So I might give this edge to the ladies, at least, for assists. So it's, we'll, we'll see right here. It's going to come down to the keepers. Can Hope Solo do it one more time? Let's go. And no, well, it's a tie. I do not know where this is going to go because it's it's Czech Nor and Solo all had 14 goal, uh, 14 clean sheets. You gonna come in? Yeah. Okay. Before I was so rudely interrupted right here, uh, Petra Czech 
Manuel Noir and Hope Solo all got 14 clean sheets a piece. So I honestly do not know where it's gonna stand right here. It's gonna be close though. It is going to be close. Who do you think won? The best women's team or the best men's team? The stats are pretty close. Alright, obviously she voted with her loins. I'm gonna vote with my penis. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> oh, the men's team have won by one point! <laughs> Holy shit on a stick! How did this happen? Oh my god, it was insanely close. The men got one more win uh, than the ladies. But actually, the ladies had one less, uh, one less loss. They had a couple more draws here, and look at that razor thin. Uh, goals for it was 71 to 70. Goals against tied 25 to 25, and a goal differential of 46 to 45. Wow, that is the that is the closest I've ever seen in the versus competition ever. Can't make this shit up, man. Cannot make this shit up. Well, well done. Let's have a little golf clap for the ladies. Very, very competitive. Easily, I'm thinking in a different type of simulation, they could have won this. FIFA be wild sometimes. But yeah, I got my prediction right. So, uh, as promised, here you guys go. A couple more pictures of Alex Morgan. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, all of them are, are pretty good. But hats off to the ladies for making this very competitive. Uh, but that is going to be it from me. Be modest right here. If you want to go ahead and check out that last experiment where you go ahead and see the ladies uh, kicking some booty, go ahead and click over here. Ding the poos. You want to check out my latest randomizer episode, go ahead and click down here where uh, my father goes ahead and makes cabbage. It's a fun one, yeah. Uh, but now he's gonna be all. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, stay humble, and be weird.